You're welcome back to the Pulse. Now, the, now the Member of Parliament for Ukre, Dan Budri, says he's yet to come to terms with his near-death experience as armed robbers today stormed his home at Community 20 in Tema. The incident occurred at dawn today and police have begun investigations into the attack. Mr. Budri was reportedly held hostage at gunpoint for about 45 minutes by the robbers. Police are said to be holding a security man at his house uh, to assist with investigations. We can speak to Matilda Omega. She spent uh, this morning speaking to the Member of Parliament at uh, his home. Matilda, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Um, first, tell me what he looked like when you met him at his home. Uh, well, um, when I got to his, uh, his hall where he was receiving a number of uh, visitors who, of course, were coming in to, uh, to sympathize with him uh, with regards to what he went through, he looked a bit disturbed and uh, he had one uh, member of, uh, not member of parliament, uh, one uh, relative sitting mm -hmm. close to him talking to him. I didn't know whether he was trying to talk him out of it, but the little I gathered from family members is that his wife in particular is still traumatized and mm. two of uh, his his sons were also traumatized. With were the, any of them hurt? No, no one was hurt. That is what they are grateful to God for because uh, anything could have happened. Uh, the fact that uh, they were held hostage for over 45 minutes with gun pointed at them all they had to do was to cooperate with the with the robbers uh, to 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 make sure that they don't do anything that will trigger them to to do anything that will cause any damage or harm to anyone in the house. So uh, for him, he's happy that he has his life. None of his family members uh, uh, is hurt mm. with with this incident. Okay. Did you get to see the wife? Yes, I got to see her at some point. She, wa she was inside until I, uh, I was told uh, some of her relatives uh, came in to, mm. to visit her. That was when she came out of her room for once. She, she wasn't really talking, mm. you quiet. Know, quiet, seated in the hall. Uh, I was able to talk to the daughter who had gathered some courage. She was the one who, who, was, uh, uh, who tried to uh, call in the police because she had locked her room when the robbers uh, came to the house because according to her she had a uh, three she had if uh, she first had a loud noise that she thought her dad was in because as of then uh, Dan Bocho was supposed to travel today so because of that he came home a bit late last night so just when he got home she was trying to call the dad but she realized his line was going through, but no one was speaking. Mm. Then she got worried, and she heard the noise from her dad's uh, her dad's bedroom. That was when she locked the door and then started calling relatives, who eventually called in the police. But when the police came in, the yeah, robbers left. had okay. left the place. Now you spoke extensively to Dan Boshi today about what happened. Let's let's listen to that interview, and then uh, we'll know where we're going with this particular case. It's worrisome that we're seeing members of parliament being attacked like this at their homes in recent times. Let's hear from Dan uh, Butcher himself about what happened this dawn. I just I heard some noise, opened my eyes, and then about three people holding pistols on us, me and my wife, and um, demanding things, monies, demanding whatever. They asked whether we had a gun, I said no. Then uh, emptied all the bars, ransacked the place, pulled out all the doors, took my wife's jewelry, opened the bars, found some money. We even directed them to where they could get some more money. <laughs> they took them away. And then to the what, what time? Wedding ring also. They took wedding ring. They you know, added it to the jewelry. What time exactly did this take place? 12.30, 1.15. Yeah. yeah so. Is it time that you usually in the hall watching TV I or? I, I don't sleep before even 1 a.m. Normally, I'll be watching television until about 1 a.m. before I sleep. But I was going to travel this morning uh, to Brown Half. So I think I decided to sleep a bit early uh, so that I could wake up early. Yeah. Uh, the previous day has left about 2 a.m. I mean, watching this U.S. elections, the Republican uh, primaries and all that. So I don't. I will stay in this hall till about 1 a.m. No. But only yesterday I slept early. I don't know, but then it, it happened. 
And you said you were in your bedroom when it, you heard the noise? Yeah, yeah. They just entered the bedroom. And then prior to that, did you hear any noise? No, no, prior to that, I didn't hear any noise. I didn't hear any noise. So mm. When they entered the bedroom, what was the first thing they asked you? No, they warned that we should be quiet. Any noise you make, they will shoot. They started asking for, first asked whether I had a weapon, I said no. Then they started emptying things, opening bags, turning everything upside down. And then, they, where's your money? Uh, they have seen some money in the bags, but they still asked, we still pointed some places that they, we, they could find money, uh, hoping that that would let them calm down. Uh, because it was frightening, and I wasn't sure what was happening to my case. So I wanted them to, as it were, be quote unquote satisfied with maybe the money so that they will not uh, harm the case. But fortunately, they, they also went there, took some money from them and their phones. And the first thing was to take all the phones in the, in the, in the room and all other gadgets. Yeah, that, that's about it. And you say they held you hostage for 45 minutes. Well, what were they doing all through all the spirit? Two will go out of the room, one will be there, then they will come again, do more search, then they will go back. Uh, then they always be sure there was one person in the room. Yeah. So, we, but around this this time, this uh, between this 45 minutes till they left, mm -hmm. how was the experience? How was the feeling like to you? Ah, it's difficult. This to, near death difficult, experience. Difficult to describe it. Yeah, difficult to describe. It. Just praying, just praying, and trying not to, you know, do anything to get them jittery. Because they were holding. I you know these people. They will do these things under the influence of something, you know. And so if you try to make any noise, they may shoot at you. Yeah. So at least we're conscious of that, trying to control my wife and make sure that we just allow them to do it. And praying that they don't do the worst. And thank God they did not. So. Could you itemize the, the, the kind of things you took away? Um, no. Mm -hmm. Jewelry, watches, uh, phones, money. And we had to ascertain whether they took something more. Since they left about 1.15 a.m., uh, fortunately, they couldn't enter the room of uh, my daughter. Yeah, and he was able to make calls. Uh, so by the time uh, friends and relatives were able to contact the police, and they came, they had left. So there were about two or three teams of police were here. And, uh, I'm just thankful to God that nothing worse happened to us. And, uh, and then no, no member of the family was hurt. I'm just thankful to God. These things do happen for you to know how uh, God is gracious to you. And that's how I see it, honestly, because it could be worse. I mean, they could accidentally shoot, even if not deliberate. So anything could happen, near death experience. And once that did not happen, I, I don't think about any other thing again. Uh, what is the, the current state of the, 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 the matter now? Well, no, the police took the security person here, and there's another security person who brought them to the house. Yeah, in the, the opposite house, on computer building opposite this house. Yeah, so they are in the, in the house of the police. I'm here to follow up to find out uh, the state of the investigation. Was he a private security man that do you have in your house? A private security man. So, uh, why was he picked up in the first place? Well, he claims he was overpowered by the, the people. Uh, they pointed a gun at him and he opened the door for them. It's bizarre, but at least I'm sure the police will be able to unravel it. But with the little that you got it from him, does his account uh, make any meaning to you? I must, to be very frank, I haven't processed anything yet. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't processed anything yet. It's, it's all the status. Ah, this thing could have been very, very, very uh, uh, bad. You know, they didn't do that. We hear of um, assaulting family members, especially uh, female. Thank God it did not happen. That was, I was really praying that nothing of that sort happens. It did not happen. And it's like that's the state we are in. I'm just thanking God that the worst did not happen. Half of things I've taken. I mean, yeah, so you know, so, so it, that, that's the state we are in. Just thanking God that uh, they didn't hurt any other uh, uh, members of the family. So, as we speak now, the police are currently uh, investigating your security man? Uh, 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 yeah, he's in the hands of the police. I, I, I suppose that's what they are, they are doing now. Yeah. 
with this experience, this near-death experience that you have seen and witnessed yourself, it brings back to mind what we recorded some few months ago with mm. JB. Mm. Throughout all the spirit, what was going through your mind? Ah, as I told you, I mean, to, to, to confess, after JB's experience, I fortified security in the house. I mean, uh, had people change all my uh, entrance doors to the house to make them security uh, doors. Uh, added additional security to all the windows to the house. And uh, we're still even in the process of doing more. Uh, both my house here and my house in my constituency. You know, so one is conscious of that, and one was doing a lot to improve uh, security. So it, it brings to mind how did they manage to get in? Well, that one, you know. Um, let, 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 the door securely locked last night. See, as you've seen, the, they broke the passy guard, and it's a very strong uh, security uh, um, guard to the windows, and I. I, I still think they are strong, but they are, it's their job, isn't it? Uh, maybe they succeeded this time, especially when they have the time to do it. Then maybe they succeeded, yeah. But certainly from now, now we see how we can improve upon it. Uh, we have brought uh, people around to see how, if there's a way of securing it further, and then other security measures. For us, it's, 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 we are in a state of uh, uh, Thanking God for what happened. Very frightening experience, but thank God, members of the family have come down. Yeah. Where's your wife now? Ah, she should be somewhere. There are many people here. I'm sure some of her relatives and friends are.